mean, that drag's tight. Tight. Oh, yeah! Is that a jumbo? Oh, that's worthy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah! yeah. Holy yeah. Let's go! Well, good morning. It's day three down in Venice, about 5.30 a.m., and we are loading up to go big, big tuna fishing today after we caught a bunch of little ones. Not little, but peanut-sized ones. We fishing with Aaron. Hello. My name's Aaron. Yeah, we go. Then Eddie's going out again. And we about ready to shove off. Are you gentlemen ready to go fishing? Yes, we are. Big tuna, big tuna. Big wahoo. Wahoo. Yes, very good. Captain's changing out the treble hooks on the. Got to change out these hooks. The ones that come with it are not. Not it. Not good. Big elephants will straighten these out like they're nothing. Yeah, those are pretty thin hooks. They're good for catfishing. Yeah. It's a catfish. <laughs> By golly. Not yellowfin tuna. Yellow's up to 200 pounds, not so much. Not ideal. Great. Yeah, come on. Got anything Second. Tell us what we're doing here. We are setting out bait in hopes that the big yellows bite them. All troll baits right now. We're waiting for them to come up and bust on the bait balls, but they're not doing it yet, so we'll troll around in the meantime. Kill some time, hopefully get a bite. We're getting us some man of war baits now, like we did yesterday. Got a pretty good one looking here. See something is shaking in there. We just got the prettiest man of war of all time. I've never Look seen that. one that's like that. That's that one's like that's straight a, pink and purple. Looks like Patrick Star pink right there. Hey, you guys. Pretty cool. Drop back in the wild. Oh, nice one. Well, we've been running all over the place find, trying to find these tuna today. You know, we got them man of war fish, and they're doing some kind of work here. They're doing some kind of work. This fish just tore so much line. I hope my GoPro got the initial pull with it. But we think this is a better fish. She's fighting on a 25 Talica instead of a 50 wide. But we're probably 10 minutes in now, I'd say. Yeah, watch that. Ooh, baby. 
Big Daddy Tuna. Big Daddy. We're still gonna send out trunks, Chris. Uh, Chris. Here you go. You got a good tuna on there, Mark? When it's under the boat, keep your rod tip low. That's when you want to lift. When it comes out, rod tip low, stay down with it. Real, 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 real. Pick up any slack. Any, any slack he gives you when he goes under the boat, you want to take it. That way it doesn't get his head down at the end of that little circle right there. Real, 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 real. Real, 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 real. Take it from him, take it from him, take it, take it, take it. Take it. Right, hold on. Go gang, 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 gang. Nice, nice tuna in the boat. I want to take a picture of this one. All right, well, we finally got a good one today. Tough going so far. But we got a big old yellow pin tuna. We got two yellows now. And a black. Well, I'm taking me a nice relaxing break and Chad saw some popping on top so he's about to throw the pop up. Where'd you see him at Chad? Big Daddy? Right there. Oh right there yeah jumping out of the water. Right ahead of us? About a hundred yards. Eleven o'clock to the left. Eleven o'clock. See if Chad can pop one. They're flying out of the water on some some kind of bait. Yeah, it's the small stuff. Hope we find a big pogey ball on the way in getting nuked. Oh, did you see that blow up right yeah, there? Yeah. Right there in front of you, Chad, 12 o'clock. Probably 11 o'clock now. That thing flies. One tuna. Got the worry, Two tuna. What we got there, Cap? Coming in hot. Not bad, not bad. Not bad one. Marking the tunas right I'll here. Pull up a little bit more. Excuse me, sir. Using the well guys we're back at the fish pad right now and all hell is about to break loose on this fishing trip we are heading back uh inshore from offshore after we caught a few nice tuna and uh, we were hoping to see a evening top water explosion bite on the giant yellowfin like we saw the previous day but we just couldn't get them to bite anything well it happens um and uh it's pretty insane 
and there's a lot of crazy language going on and I'm going to leave it totally unfiltered because I think it needs to be like that for you to experience the absolute craziness that is about to happen. And um, with me putting a bunch of bleeps and editing it out, you're just not going to experience what's going on. So uh, if you got kids or you don't want to hear some cussing, uh, just turn off the video now or ask them to leave the room. But uh, if you want to see some really crazy fishing stuff uh you're about to watch it and uh, i hook into the largest fish of my life so stay tuned look at these fucking monsters Christian, fire that motherfucker in there <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one. There it is. Get it. Get him. I mean, I can't get y'all any better in there. Oh! Real tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. Get tight. You're on. Fuck, thank God someone can hook on. Tristan, you're fucking. No, I'm done. You can go. Please tell me you got that on your GoPro. I didn't have my, I didn't have it out. Oh, stay tight, stay tight. God, we've got just giant tuna going everywhere. I didn't have a camera out. I was asleep practically. I think he got it on his phone though. I think so. I honestly got nice I, cast, dude. I'm pretty fucking sure I have it going right in the fucking. Really? I'm pretty sure. Oh, thank God. Woo! That's so epic, dude. Oh my god, I had to hand it off guys, it was too much. I mean that drag's tight. Tight. Okay, so this is the way to get real up to about there. Real up to about there. Real up to about there. Are you ready? I think the one that hit it's pretty big. Oh yeah! Is that a jumbo? Oh my god! That's the one I got on the top water, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap! I hooked that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, that's worthy! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah! yeah! Holy fuck! Let's go! He came out! Holy! Let's go! 180. God, yes. Holy shit. I didn't mean to yell High five, down. Captain. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Throw it in there, Mark. I'm I trying. If you went back down. I lost right one, too, right before that. I lost one, too, right before that. Uh, I got video going. All right, okay. well, we're here with Fish Finish Charters, and we just landed this guy on a popper. <laughs> I don't know how much you think he weighs, Captain. 180, 190. -ish. 180 to 200 there. That is crazy. Awesome go, fish. Boys. Pretty awesome. Great job. Awesome. We're running after some more. Get them, boys.
I do. And it got went down by the time we got over here. We are now trying to get this tuna pushing 200 pounds in the live well. <laughs> Too big. Too big? No. <laughs> Almost. Ain't fit many more in there. Actually, gonna have to do. Crazy. Throw some other ones in the dry ice in there. Small fries. Small fries. What do we do to this thing? Actually broke. We broke the gas. It's already split, but now it's it's really broken. That's what happens when you it'll still work for a few more. Catch 200 pound tuna. 180. Close to 200. We'll see. Big, big, Lots large. Very big. Very large. The huge. Huge, 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 but huge, 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 the huge, huge, that is a huge, got a huge, a huge, huge, I have a huge company, huge, huge, a huge, huge, a huge, huge, I'm always ready, it's not just big, it's huge! <laughs> It's a baby tuna, another baby tuna. Captain Eddie. F you with the five minute fight. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out how to get it out Tristan, of the, you take this. Right, the well. Give me that. Look at that sucker. What's, what's everybody's guess on weight? Go. What? He's so short. Yeah. He is short. He's a butterball, though. Hey, come on, be careful. That thing is huge. We're gonna weigh it on this thing. Zeroed out. Zeroed out. That has been tested. So Way to fish over there and over here and we the exact same. Okay. <laughs> if, if not, we're gonna have to put a beer. I've been fishing down here for 20 years. I haven't seen a 200. I sure hope. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 170. On He's short. He's just so short. 174. 174. Maybe okay. longer. Well, that was just, you know. The absolute craziest, I mean craziest, like adrenaline pumping, just emotions all over the place, fishing experience of my entire life. And hope you guys are still here and didn't get uh, all weirded out because there was some cussing, but I really felt like leaving that in there communicates what exactly was going on. The emotions, the highs and lows, the, uh, the anxiety, uh, the captain trying to keep everything uh uh, working correctly, the fish hooked up, us fighting it, me being worn out from fighting that thing for four or five minutes while I wasn't on camera, and it's just peeling 200 yards of line out with like 30, 40 pounds of drag. I don't even know what that thing had, but like it was just absolutely crazy. And I will always remember that fishing experience. And Captain Aaron gave me that top water I caught that fish on. I'm getting this sucker framed and it's going up on the wall with a picture of me and that big giant tuna. Now hopefully within the next year or so I can crack the 200 mark, but uh, 174 pound fish on a topwater is just, just mind blowing for me. And 
what an awesome experience. And if you guys want to have the opportunity to go and do that, I would highly, highly, highly suggest you give uh, Fish Finish Charters a call and go fish with Captain Eddie or Captain Aaron. Um, they are just consummate professionals, the best gear and boat and knowledge and good times in the business. They can't control the weather though. They can't control the fish bite, but they can work their ass off to put you in the best place with the best bait, the best gear and the best knowledge and techniques to give you that opportunity to have what happened to me, uh, on that trip. So I hope you guys enjoyed We've got one more video left in this series. It's day four and we go inshore fishing for bull redfish. And my God, do we absolutely destroy it. Here's a few little teaser clips of that next video. And I hope you guys uh, will subscribe to the channel, come along with me on my adventures and watch that next video. We'll see you. One and none, baby. That's my first bull red. I, I'll take a fish. Wait! Triple! Get that rod! <laughs> oh, we're on. Again. Okay, well, we were going to release this these real this. quick. That's our second or third triple. It's not a bad one. In the danger zone. Right there. There it is. Look, get him. <laughs> as soon as you throw it out there, <laughs> as soon as you, we're about to throw a whole mullet, what do you think? Oh my gosh, this is, hey, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let's go. We got Chad hooked up here on a horse, and we got a horse right here too. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's release him. Glug, glug. Look at the head on that thing. That's a good one. Chad's got one taking him out to the ocean. Out to the ocean. <laughs>